You were looking at yourself in the mirror and you wish you had some pot. A pot. You cut belly. The writing is different. Pot bellies make a man look either oafy, sounds like a gorilla. <laughs> but on a woman, a pot belly is very sexy. Does she want to be pregnant? If I had one, I'd wear a t shirt two sizes too small to accentuate it. If you had a pot belly, I'd punch you in it. What? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Commentary. I'm your girl, Des, and today I'm going to be watching Pulp Fiction for the first time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Pulp, a soft, moist, shapeless mass of matter, a magazine or book complaining, lurid subject matter, and being characteristically printed on rough, unfinished paper. Look at it. It's too risky. You always say that. The same thing every time. Can I get anyone more coffee? Um, yes. Thank you. Why are they acting weird? <laughs> I would love some coffee right now. You want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. Well, I'm not going to kill anybody. <laughs> I like her character. And if it's not the gooks, it's these old f***ing Jews have earned the store for 15 f***ing generations. Ooh, all this cursing. The movie is not even five minutes in, and he done uh, dropped the F-bomb like 30 times. Nobody ever robs restaurants. They're not expecting to get robbed. I'm ready. Let's do it uh -oh. right now, right here. Mm. Mm. I love you, honey. I love you, honey, buddy. <laughs> Everybody be cold. This is a robbery. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Quentin Tarantino. Okay. <laughs> here we go with the... Uh, Seems like the ending credits in the beginning, just like with um, Young Frankenstein. You know what they put on French fries and Holland instead of ketchup? Mayonnaise. Ew. <laughs> I've seen them do it, man. Mayonnaise is disgusting. Comment below if you like mayonnaise. What's her name? Mia. Mia. She used to be an actress. I think her biggest deal was she started in Highland. I feel like Samuel L. Jackson is in all of Quentin Tarantino's movies. Have you ever given a film I'm the foot master. Got my technique down and everything. I don't be tickling or nothing. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. Yo, 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 man. You best back off. I'm getting a little pissed. Now. Are they like undercover agents or something with these suits and stuff? Just because I wouldn't get no man a foot massage. Don't make it right for my souls to throw into it. Yo, I'm what is up with the foot massages? <laughs> and look, I've given a million ladies a million foot massages, and they all meant something. There's a sensuous thing going on. I feel like you should not be giving no woman that's married a foot massage. Which one should have been better, known better? Yeah. I mean, that's his f***ing wife, man. <laughs> the language. Comment below if you would be mad if somebody gave your wife a foot massage. <laughs> wow. Well, he's going out of town in Florida, and he asked me if I take care of her while he's gone show her a good time make sure she don't get lonely what i'm gonna be taking mia wallace out on a date it's like if you were gonna take your buddy's wife to a movie or something no it's not a date it's definitely not a date we're associates of your business partner marcellus wallace looks like me and vincent caught you boys at breakfast hamburgers the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast <laughs> you mind if i try one of yours wait what's happening Hmm. This is a tasty burger. What is about to go down, y'all? It's the suspense for me. What they call a quarter pound <laughs> of cheese in France. Oh my gosh. No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Because of the metric system. Without <laughs> the big brain. We made the same face. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, y'all, he he's funny. Him dropping the M F and bombs. <laughs> I just can't lie. Ew, you know, he just eating and drinking off this man. I can't. What is what's what's happening? What's what <laughs> what? <laughs> he just drank all his soda. Won't you tell me, man, Vincent, where you got did it? So there. I don't remember asking. Uh oh. Saying. What's happening right now? Are these guys police? 
And he still was looking at him. I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so f***ed up. When what happened? When we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Who? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. <sighs> what is happening? Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? I say what again. I dare you. I double dare you. He's black. Come on. Does he look like a... What? What? Does he look like a... This is, this is intense. You read the Bible, Greg. Yes. <laughs> Ezekiel 25, 17. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and... He is committed to this character. <laughs> Vincent Vega and Mark... I'm sure... I, I can't even... <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. See, this business is filled to the brim with unrealistic moments. This is different. When you kicking it in the Caribbean, Marcellus Wallace was right. This shot is interesting. This whole scene is very interesting. Different. The shot, he's not in frame. His head is good. It's different. I just got back from Amsterdam. Am I? Are we in Inglewood? No. I did not read the synopsis of this. <laughs> I have no clue what's happening right now. Yeah, this is different. Very different. This guy, Quentin Tarantino, seems like he breaks all of the film rules. But I guess... It worked in his favor because this is a classic. This is considered a classic. Hi, Vincent. I'm getting dressed. Doors open. Come inside and make yourself a drink. Mia. Uh-oh. Come on, man. Let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, daddy -o. daddy -o. Square? What? Hey, right, this man does not follow the film rules, but hey. Steak, steak, steak. Oh, yeah, Douglas Sharp steak. What about you, Peggy Sue? Peggy Sue. Derwood Kirby Burger. $5 shake. Did you just order a $5 shake? That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. That's how much shakes are today. Shoot, they probably even more expensive. All right, and Lewis. You think I can have a sip of that? Can you use my straw? I don't have cooties. Yeah, well, maybe I do. What is the dynamics of this relationship? Now, what genre of movie is this? This is different. She like him? She's very mysterious. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out everybody's objective. You heard Marsalis through Tony Rocky Hard at the four story window for giving me a foot massage? Only thing Antoine ever touched in mind was my hand when he shook it at my wedding. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. Hmm. She cleared that right on up. Young lady, what is your name? Mrs. Mia Wallace. And uh, how about your fellow here? Vince Vega. Yeah, Vince Vega. <laughs> uh. they, uh, they look so serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> she about to fall in love with his boss wife. Drinks. Music. Oh my god. I'm gonna have fun editing this because it's a lot of music. One drink and I said. Uh oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> this is a moral test of oneself, whether or not you can maintain loyalty. That's what I was thinking. Is he putting him to the test? His boss. He's like, I can really trust you if I can trust you with my wife. Is she going to die? So listen, I got to go. 
All right. Come on, girl. We're getting out of here. We gotta walk down. That took a turn real quick. <laughs> what? What? I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. <laughs> Just dropped her. I am. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help, and that and that you let her die in your money. Lance. Lance. This is all. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't kidding. You, you, you're gonna give her the shot. You're gonna give her the shot. I ain't giving her the shot. I ain't giving her the shot. <laughs> what? That was f***ing trippy. <laughs> that was trippy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm of the opinion that if my son's lived his whole life, he don't need no nothing about this answer. I can keep a secret if you can. I'm pretty sure Marcel has got cameras, though. If he look on the cameras. Oh, man. Oh, well, she can go and delete it. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Baby tomato starts lagging behind, and cop tomato gets really angry. Says... Ketchup. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Butch, I got something for you. This watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. Five long years he wore this watch. Up his. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my. Two years. After seven years, I'm, I'm not about to play. I don't. I don't think I should be laughing. <laughs> Was that him? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just a lot of like, it, it, I feel like this movie is everywhere. I don't know the objective. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I should read the synopsis. Somebody comment below and tell me why this movie is considered a classic. I mean, I'm not saying I'm still trying to follow along, but it's just it's everywhere. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> it seems like it's like a thousand storylines. With your search, how do you want it done? If Butch goes to Indochina, I want to get hot in a bowl of rice ready to pop a cap in his. What? Hey, Lisa. What? Remember in that fight? We fight on the radio. Killing a man. He's just throwing everything out the window. What does it feel like to kill him? Uh, is she gonna try to hurt him? If anybody asks you who your fan was tonight, what are you gonna say? Three, well dressed, slightly toasted Mexican. You were looking at yourself in the mirror and you wish you had some pot? Hey, pot. You cut belly. The writing is different. Pot bellies make a man look either office or like a gorilla. <laughs> But on a woman, a pot belly is very sexy. Does she want to be pregnant? If I had one, I'd wear a t-shirt two sizes too small to accentuate it. If you got a pot belly, I'll punch you in it. What? <laughs> yes, lemon pie. Where are we going to go? Did I miss anything? Was he supposed to lose the fight? It's there. <laughs> well, it should be. Uh-oh. Oh. Do you have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. It's not your fault. <sighs> you left it at the apartment. Uh-oh. I gotta go back. You left it at the apartment. It's not your fault. 
didn't illustrate how personal the watch was to me. I'm sorry. Don't be. I saw you watch. I thought I brought it. Back before you could say blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. <laughs> oh. I specifically reminded her. Said the words, don't forget my father's watch. They ain't tearing nothing up. Uh-oh, they're going to be there. You got the watch. Get out of there. Sir. What? Oh. 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 Huh. Shut up. Just kill John Travolta's off just like that, sir. <laughs> you might need that. Oh, he's like, I can't just walk outside with a big old gun. Is he gonna be in the back seat, Samuel Jackson? <laughs> well, all right, it was that easy. <laughs> he just killed him off just like that. It's just the writing and everything is just all over the place. Keep on the rest of it. Well, when he get there, the girl gonna be gone. Oh! Shut up! Is different. What is he pouring on them? Is that gasoline? That's it. This is a lot of twists and turns and just. <laughs> well, yeah, he got yeah. all the people in this movie, boy. Everybody. Who is that? What is it? Are they just holding prisoners? Yeah. I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't know what type of what type of style writing is this. What somebody help me out in the comments. This is just I feel like it's all over the place. <laughs> What's happening? I'm so concerned. And lo I, I, I don't know what's happening. Sorry, y'all. I took this the earphones out because I did not want to hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's weird. I guess I can put uh, the earphones back in now. What now? What now? I'm going to get medieval on y'all. And then what now between me and you? Are they, they friends? There is no me in you. It ain't nobody else's business. You leave town tonight. What made him write this? <laughs> you stay gone or you be gone. You lost all your L.A. privileges. What made him write this? That was so weird. That... 
Where did you get this motorcycle? What happened to my Honda? She asked a thousand questions. Like, girl, get out of there. Honey, we gotta hit the fucking road. Get on. Okay, she about to get left. Whose motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. This is the weirdest movie that I've ever watched. Ever. The Bonnie situation. You think you're 25, 17? Nah, you mother... Hmm. Didn't you tell us somebody was in the bathroom? What's up your mind? You see the size of that gun he fired at us? It was bigger than him. This is by far the weirdest movie I've ever watched. Ever. I don't understand it. <laughs> what happened here was a miracle, and I want you to can acknowledge it. It was a miracle. We go now? Let's go. Come on. It's from here on in, you consider my retired. Jesus Christ. Don't blaspheme. Look, I'm telling my sellers today. I'm through. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. <laughs> I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped us? <laughs> oh. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why did you do that? Oh, I didn't mean to do it as an accident. If Jimmy ain't home, I don't know what the we gonna do, man, because I ain't got no other partners in 818. Jimmy, yo, how you doing, man? It's Jules. Oh, yeah, stuff all in his. <laughs> yo. I was washing them. It's hard to get off. Maybe if he had lava, I could have done a better job. They always arguing. <laughs> you know I respect you and all, but just don't put me in this position, all right? All right. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze dry. That Quentin Tarantino. You know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the dead in my garage. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I want to help you, but I don't want to lose my wife doing it, all right? <sighs> you got to make some phone calls. You got to call some people. Well, then do it. It's 30 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. He literally had no rules. He did whatever he wanted to do in this film. I went to the wolf. I saw problems. Good, we got one. So I heard. May I come in? Uh, yeah, please do. Jimmy. Uh huh? Do me a favor, will you? Put this bottle of coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I need you two fellas to do is take those cleaning products and clean the inside of the car. I'm talking fast, fast, fast. Uh, Jimmy, we need to rid your linen closet. I need blankets, I need comforters, I need quilts, I need bedspread. We need to camouflage the interior of the car. They're about to do all this in 40 minutes. Jimmy, lead the way. Boys, get to work. Please would be nice. Oh. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. No, 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 Mr. Wolf. It ain't like that. Your help is definitely appreciated. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, pretty please. With sugar on top. Clean the f*** up. <laughs> Don't be looking at me like that, all right? I can feel your look. <laughs> Still blood on a car. I can't believe this is the same car. Phase one is complete. Clean the car, which moves us right along to phase two. Clean you two. It's still blood on the outside of the car. You guys look like. What do they look like, Jimmy? College kids. Dorks. You see a cap? I'm gonna go for breakfast. Is that having breakfast with me? Cool. I don't know why I just thought you'd be European or something. Really. Yeah, no, he's about as European. Oh, okay, so they about to circle it around and they about to try to rob this <laughs> chow. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Yeah, but they can taste good. I ain't eating nothing. I ain't got sense enough to disregard its own feces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they always uh debating. Uh oh. Coffee. Jules, look. What happened this morning? Oh. Man, I agree. It was peculiar. Let me ask you something. When did you make this decision? When you were sitting there eating that muffin? Yeah. Yeah. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. I'm the manager here. No oh, problem. I know where this is. I feel like I know where this is. Listen, everybody. Be calm. Cooperate. 
And this will all be over in a minute. Wow. Oh, I thought I knew where this place was at. I thought this. Wait, did. Nah, never mind. Let me be quiet. In the back. He's the only one that didn't get down. It's in the case. My boss is dirty laundry. Open it. Ready to do that. I didn't hear you. Yes, you did. Causing problems, you'll get us all killed. Get what you got to get him out of here. Shut the f up, fat man. This ain't <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, Ringo, you win. Open. Okay. Is that what I think it is? Mm hmm. What is it? It's a key. <laughs> what is it? We're not gonna do anything stupid, are we? Don't you hurt him! Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> Come on, Yolanda, what's Fonzie like? Cool. What? Cool. Correct. I'm gonna count to three. When I count three, I want you to let go of your gun and sit your ass down. This is probably the best scene to me. It's all over the place. Okay, now you let him go! Yolanda, I thought you were gonna be cool. Now, when you yell at me, it makes me nervous. <laughs> now. Here's the situation. What is in that briefcase? You happen to pull it while I'm in a transitional period and I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I want to help you. I, I gotta go pee. I'm wrong. Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud. I know the people in there is like, what? Tell her you're proud of her. Proud of you, honey bunny. I love you. The psychological stuff that his character does with these folks when he got these guns in their face. Ciao. How much is that? $1,500. Okay, put it in your pocket. It's yours. Jules, you give that fucking Nimrod $1,500 and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda! <laughs> you read the Bible, Ringo? <laughs> There's this passage I got memorized. Yo, 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 yo. This was the best thing. I've been saying that for years. I never gave much thought to what it meant. I just thought it was some cold blooded shit to say to a before I popped the cap. <laughs> I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. <laughs> that was the best thing. <laughs> I think we should be leaving now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Why are they strolling out of there like that? <laughs> All right, guys. So that was my reaction to Pope fiction and that was quite a ride um yeah <laughs> it was so many little stories and i bruce willis's character i didn't understand his scene <laughs> like the whole boxer scene thing was just thrown in there like is it me or do do y'all think that was just extra I don't I, I I don't know so please comment below and tell me why you think this was a, not was but is considered a classic because I, I I was I was maybe my humor is different from a lot of people's but I was trying to keep up I mean some parts were interesting some parts you know but some parts I was a little I'm scratching my head and I'm like wait what's happening now it was just all, it was all over the place it, to me it was I don't know usually I I, I have different uh, opinions when I'm editing because I see stuff that I have missed but maybe that'll happen when I'm editing this but yeah let's let's chat in the comments and let me know why you guys think that 
they call this film, this movie, a classic because I, I just feel like it was all over the place. Like I, <laughs> certain stuff, I was like, now why did he write that? What was the point of that? Like I was trying to find the objective. Now the way that he ended it was very good. It, it came together for the beginning part, but I just don't understand Bruce with the boxing stuff. I. I I just feel like that was just thrown in there. But, I, hey, it could be me. My sense of humor is different. Everybody's different. But, yeah. So, that's that. Um, make sure you guys go over to Patreon and watch this full reaction if you would like to. If not, still support me by liking and commenting and subscribing and turning on that bell um, notification bell so you would never miss a reaction when I upload it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you guys. God loves you guys, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to remind you all to join me on Patreon for full-length reactions and exclusive content. But there is a way to support the channel without spending a single dime, and that's by hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, and turning on your post notifications so you'll know every time I drop a video. Thanks for checking out another video. Bye.